Hello, welcome. You're in the right place if you're looking for today's daily devotion. God bless you. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship. We're located in Brooklyn, New York. And our daily devotion is just a series of videos. We post them five days a week where we read a chapter from the Bible, from the scriptures together. And it's just designed to be a tool to help us with that, help us include a little of God's Word in our day. We're going through the Gospel of John right now, and today we're reading John chapter 14. We've seen Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem in uh, a couple chapters prior. Uh, we've seen Jesus at the scene of the Last Supper. John does not give us the exchange that the other three Gospels do where Jesus takes the bread and the wine and gives us the ordinance of the Holy Communion, John gives us another uh, significant event in that same setting, in that same room at that same time, where Jesus, is wa where Jesus washes the disciples' feet. And when you stitch those narratives together, it's something really, really powerful and really, really profound. We saw Judas run out into the night to prepare to betray Jesus. We saw Jesus predict... Peter's denial. Peter says, I'm ready to die with you, Jesus. And Jesus says, no, you're not. Listen, before the sun comes up, you're going you're gonna to deny three times that you even heard of me. You're going you're gonna to say you don't even know me. You're not ready to die with me. Today we're reading John chapter 14. And uh, this chapter is not terribly long, 31 verses. And uh, just two subsections here. Jesus um, speaks about he himself being the way to the Father, and then he promises the Holy Spirit. So let's read now John chapter 14. I'm reading from the New Living Translation, as is my habit. Chapter 14 begins this way in verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. There's more than enough room in my Father's home, and if this were not so, I would have told you. Or if this were not so, would I have told you? I'm going to prepare a place for you. When everything's ready, I'll come and get you so that you'll always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I'm going. No, we don't know, Lord Thomas said. We have no idea where you're going. So how can we know the way? And Jesus told him, I am the way. And I'm the truth. In the life, no one can come to the Father except through me. If you'd really known me, you would know who my Father is. And from now on, you do know him, and you've seen him. And Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. And Jesus replied, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father, so why are you asking me to show him to you? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me does His work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe because of the work you've seen me do. I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I'm going to be with the Father. You can ask for anything in my name and I will do it so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. If you love me, verse 15, obey my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and He'll give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. Ah, the world cannot receive Him because it isn't looking for Him and doesn't recognize Him, but you know Him because He lives with you now and later will be in you. No, I won't abandon you as orphans. I'll come to you. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you will also live. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them, and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. And Judas, not Judas Iscariot, but the other disciple with that name, there are two Judases, said to him, Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us and not to the world at large? Good question. Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them and will come and make our home with each of them. Anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. Remember, my words are not my own. What I'm telling you is from the Father who sent me. I'm telling you these things now while I'm still with you. 
But when the Father sends His Advocate as my representative, that is, the Holy Spirit, He will teach you everything and will remind you everything I've told you. I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift to the world. It's a gift the the world uh, cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I'm going away, but I'll come back to you again. And if you really loved me, you would be happy that I'm going to the Father, who is greater than I am. I've told you these things before they happen, so that when they do happen, you'll believe. I don't have much more time to talk to you, because the ruler of this world approaches. He has no power over me, but I'll do what the Father requires of me, so that the world will know that I love the Father. Come, let's be going. That concludes John chapter 15. Hope you've been blessed by this chapter, by this time in the Word of God. If you know somebody else who might also be blessed, please feel free to share this with them. Hope you join us again next time for the next chapter of John, John chapter 16. God bless you.